welcome to this session today's topic of the discussion is the microwave solid state devices my name is ajit subhas sirenshi from electronics and telecommunication department in the walchand institute of technology solapur so what is the learning outcome of this today's session is this at the end of the session student will able to describe the construction and working of the solid state devices such as the varactor diode pin diode and tunnel diode so prerequisite so what should knowledge you have before proceed further into uh, the session is that you should have a basic knowledge of the semiconductors and you should have a knowledge of the pn junction working and construction and the working of the pn junction diode so let's start with the varactor diode so varactor diode name itself suggests it is a variable reactance diode so it is also called as a varicap so varicap means variable capacitors so in the varactor diode is a no, is a pn junction diode in which the capacitance is varied by the varying the changing the reverse bias voltage across it so these are the different symbols for the varactor diode this is one of the symbols this is one more symbol and most common symbol used is this one so this arrow is showing the uh, that means this uh, this arrow is itself indicating the uh, capacitance is varied by changing the voltage across it so coming to the construction of the varactor diode is that uh, so it is a pn junction diode and in the pn junction diode if the uh, material used for the semiconductor is, is a silicon it is used, it is limited for the lower frequency but for the microwave frequency uh, gallium arsenide is used so as the gallium arsenide uh, the mobility of the hole and electron is more as compared to the silicon so for high frequency application gallium arsenide is used so this is forming the pn junction at this center and uh, this is the molybdenum structure so molybdenum is the uh, metal so this metal is connected to the p uh, type uh, p type molybdenum stud this is molybdenum stud at the anode side and this is molybdenum stud at the cathode side so this is uh, a positive side and this is a negative side so p side should be the upper and n side should be the lower so reason for using the molybdenum stud is that uh, it can have a better conductivity as compared to other and there is a better charge separation so there is one more uh, important uh, fact you have to note in this varactor diode is that the doping of the uh, in the p type and n, n type semiconductor is a linear so it is a less in the uh, at the junction side so it is a it is a less at this junction side and it is increases linearly at the end so so there will be the more concentration at the end of the this uh, varactor diode so this is about the structures of the varactor diode so varactor diode is working in the reverse bias as you can see here so when reverse bias is applied it, it will create the space charge region or the depletion region at the center and these are the mobile charges at the end of this two so this mobile charges are separated by the depletion region and it is forming the capacitance which can be explained in the next slide as you can see here so these are the mobile charges and we as we are changing the reverse bias across it so this is the p side and this is the hole is the majority carriers and this is the n side is the electron is the majority carriers here so so when reverse bias increased it is also changes the capacitance so it is model as a capacitance as you can see this is the junction capacitance or you can call it as a transition capacitance so this is the characteristics of the varactor diode so this in this characteristics uh, capacitance is plotted versus the reverse bias voltage so as you can see this capacitance is inversely proportional to the reverse bias voltage so this is a junction capacitance or transition capacitance and this is a reverse voltage and this is a breakdown voltage as you can see it is inversely proportional and this n value is depend upon the uh, how much the grading also how much you are doping the p type and n side if it is a linear uh, doping if it is a strip a graded doping so that n value depend upon that so this is obviously it is inversely proportional to it and uh, c0 is the capacitance when there is a no bias is applied to it so 
one more important aspect so you can uh, note down here the capacitance is not linearly proportional it is somewhat uh, exponential uh, decrease in the capacitance as there is an increase in the reverse bias voltage so this is about the varactor diode uh, characteristics now coming into the equivalent circuit of the varactor diode so this is a junction capacitance during the reverse bias and this is a resistance reverse resistance and this is uh, the resistance is called as a bulk itself it is a material resistance and this resistance is due, due to the reverse bias as reverse bias increases the resistance of the diode is also increases so this is a res reverse resistance and this is the uh, inductance forward inductance uh, so which you can place in the series with this reverse resistance so this is the model of uh, model of the varactor diode so very interesting facts uh, as the varactor diode can be used for the high frequency so what what do you think what is the limitation because of this uh, inductor here think about it write on the paper what is the limitation of this series inductance as you can see this inductance and if there is a limitation write down that limitation and also justify that so varactor diode application it is used as an automatic frequency controller it is used in the high frequency uh, receiver also as the uh, uh, as the as the capacitance changes as it can be used as a variable tuner also in the tank circuits and it is used in the high frequency radios as a used as a frequency multiplier and it is also used as the band pass, band pass filters and it is also used as a harmonic generators that means by changing the frequency by means you can change the double frequency you can multiply the frequency three times you can multiply the frequency four times that is that is mean by the harmonic generator by using varactor diode so this is about the varactor diode let's come to the pin diode so here pin diode here p uh, p stand for the p type and n stand for the n type and i stands for the intrinsic layer so in this intrinsic layer is very high resistance so intrinsic layer is a sandwich between these two uh, p type and n type material semiconductor material so again this uh, this intrinsic material have a high electric in, uh, electric field intensity because it has a resistance because it has a high resistance in between these two regions p type and n type region and the symbol is uh, just like a similar to the uh, normal pn junction diode as you can see here so this is about the pn junction and now come a uh, pin diode uh, so in the pin diode as you can see uh, this is intrinsic layer is a sandwiched between this p type and n type and these are the metal contacts these are the ends are the metal contacts here and uh, this is intrinsic layer in between the p plus and n sub we uh, p plus and n plus which is highly doped p type and highly doped n type semiconductors and uh, material used for this is the gallium arsenide for the high frequency now working to the p, uh, pin uh, pin diode is that uh, as you can see this series resistors is directly proportional to the frequency so as the frequency is variable also the it is depend upon the voltage so as voltage changes positive voltage changes it act as a variable resistors so this uh, same can be reflected in the uh, model also so this is a model of the pin diode so this is a act as a variable resistors so as i told you uh, varactor diode act as a variable capacitors and pin diode is act as a variable resistor for the high frequency application now application of the pin diode is uh, pin diode can be used as a detector also light detector also and it is used as a high voltage rectifier and in the high frequency it is used as a phase shifter and it is also used as the am amplitude modulator now this now about the tunnel diode so tunnel diode name itself suggests the current is tunneling between this p side and n side and this tunnel diode is a highly doped pn junction diode and the current flowing in this tunnel diode is uh, is called as a tunnel current and symbol for the tunnel diode is this as you can see here 
it is uh, somewhat different than uh, normal conventional p junction diode now coming to the construction of the tunnel diode is this so this is a p uh, p type and n uh, n type semiconductors which are separated which are connected to this so these are the metal leads this is the metal lead and these are the leads so these are the highly doped p type and n type and this is a substrate so again the material used here is uh, gallium arsenide because for the high frequency applic application if it is a silicon it is not for the uh, it is not for the high frequency application only the gallium arsenide is used here for the construction of the tunnel diode and this is the encapsulation as you can see here so this is the characteristics of the uh, tunnel diode as you can see this this current is initially increases because this current is a tunneling current and this characteristic is a normal pn junction diode so all this current is due to the tunneling phenomena so tunneling flowed as you can see the small tunneling current flows because of the overlap of this conduction uh, this valence band and this conduction band in n type so small current flows tunnel current uh, flows through the tunnel diode due to the small bias and as the bias increases it reaches to the saturation point and maximum point as you can see here and further increase in the bias as you can see there is a decrease in the tunnel current as, as you can see so this already explained in the characteristics of the tunnel diode and coming to the application of the tunnel load these are the application it is used as a logical memory devices it is used as a relaxation oscillator it is used in the uh, amplifier also and so and in the microwave application it is used as an oscillator because it's as a retarded oscillator because it has a negative resistance property these are the references. Thank you.